Uh, I said earlier a little bit that it was really intuitive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was again something I'd never experienced before or imagined really that, I mean, I suppose with today's technology, it, I shouldn't be too surprised, but I'd never even thought about doing something like that. It's a that's, that's quite, yeah, a little bit surreal, definitely. Okay. Well, it, it seems to me that there's a lot of potential here. Um, beyond, you know, and it, not even with just a particular niche of, of gamers, but everybody that, that, you know, can appreciate what your eyes are capable of doing and, and how intuitive it is to use something that you've been using your whole, your whole life um, in, in completely natural ways. I think any, any developer would really be be excited to see what they can do and, and experiment with it. Yeah. I think they can be a lot more immersive. I mean, we're we're making strides, you know, every month, every day, probably even with with how immersive we make games. But doing, but adding things where you know every motion you make, every every place that you look, is is part of the experience. It just makes it that much more of a, you know, something personal and something where you really feel like you're a part of it. You know, it, it felt way more natural than I thought it would be, which is interesting. You know, it actually felt far more natural than using, you know, hand motion controls and things like that. So that, that was that was cool. I'd say immersion. Immersion and probably ease of use because it is very easy to use. That's right. Oh, that's tough. You know, I'm, I, I'm English, I play a lot of FIFA. So, you know, and seeing that example there, it would really improve the, uh, the sort of random penalty kick side of things and you know, being able to pick out a player to pass to, something like that with your eyes would be kind of cool.